At 9 o'clock in the evening, the hospital's casualty ward was packed with patients of all ages waiting to be assisted. Some patients complained that they had been at the hospital since morning. I have been at the hospital since morning. I was attacked the day before and I came here today for treatment and I have not been helped yet. Apparently I have to wait for the doctor and I came here at 8 in the morning. I got an accident yesterday after I fell from a car and I came to this hospital early around 8 a.m. and until now only a nurse assisted me but she referred me to a doctor who said she couldn't assist me. I should wait for other doctors who deal with motor accident patients. Really, this is not good at all. What if I die in those seats? I don't have a wound but my whole body is in pain and my nose sometimes just starts bleeding. They said the situation became worse after hours, after the clinics closed for business, sending all patients to the Katutura State Hospital. <coughs> Initially, a shift comprises two doctors and six nurses. Our news team, however, found only one doctor and a nurse helping patients. Handling patients was not easy either, as ambulances continued bringing in more patients. <laughs> This is not good at all. Since yesterday I have been in pain. One can die any time in those queues. This is the largest hospital, so why can't they have doctors, intern nurses and nurses themselves? Now the assistant nurse is only an intern. Approached for comment, the customer care and public relations officer at the Katutura State Hospital, Josea Ihuwa said, 204 patients were treated at the hospital on Monday. He explained that emergency cases receive first priority. While maintaining that they were not understaffed, he urged the problem was that the state hospital becomes similar to a clinic at night, being the only state health facility accessible 24 hours a day. He confirms that two doctors and six nurses are to be available per shift. Julana Fuka, NBC News, Bantuk.